today I'm heading into Home Depot. We're gonna check out their fruit trees. I noticed that they started to line them up, so I wanna see what they actually have going on here, what their first delivery looks like. We're gonna look at quality, we're gonna look at structure, we're gonna look at what type of trees they have and the pricing. So let's go ahead and check out their garden center. Going to the garden center today, I did notice that this isn't full throttle. There's definitely a smaller selection than you will get as we get into the warmer months, but still a re really good selection on each type of tree. So we'll go through all of them today. Now, first up is the cherry trees. We have a nice dwarf tart cherry, and you'll notice that this is going to grow around 12 to 15 feet. Really great for an abundant harvest as well as culinary uses. On the back of each of the cards, it will tell you exactly what you need to know in order to make sure that you are growing this tree in the best way. It will tell you when the tree is going to mature, the space it's needed, the hardiness of the tree, and the amount of water that you'll want to give the tree. This tree is $69.98. I did notice that the trees are a little bit higher from last year, around $10 more. Now the sweet cherry rainier is going to go from around 10 to 20 feet. We actually got one last year from Home Depot as well as this sweet cherry bing and both have been doing really, really great. They are a little bit taller than the first tree, but still really, really great quality. And as you can see here, it has a really nice trunk on it. I do really love these trees here because you can actually get a really good view of what you're going to be getting and you can see what the stock of the trees are. Now this has a really nice center stem. Again, all of them are $69.98. I did see some really good blossoming on them as well as some nice new growth. And you're definitely gonna wanna make sure that when you are looking for your trees, you are seeing that there is new growth on them as well as buds forming. This is really important to make sure that you're picking really healthy trees here. They also had a lot of other great varieties that you can see here and overall just a really good amount of cherry trees. There wasn't a super large amount of each so if you have a particular one that you want you might want to go in and snag that as soon as you can. Jumping into our pear trees we have a pear summer crisp. This is going to be around 18 to 25 feet and again at the $69.98 budget. Really great growth on all of these. I was seeing some really awesome growth on them which I love to see because you want to make sure that if you're going to plant a tree it has nice buds, nice growth and the clippings of it are at the right place. So definitely take a really good look at your trees before purchasing them. We also had a European Stanley Plum. I had not heard of this before, so I did have to do some research following our trip. I actually took a lot of pictures of all the tags, went home, researched which ones all the flavor palettes because some of these were newer varieties to me and I wanted to make sure that we would really love them as you're putting so much time and care into growing them out. You want to make sure that they are something that you really like. I also liked that I noticed that they were putting on easy to grow. Now my mom is not so much of a green thumb and being able to identify which ones were easiest to grow was really nice because we did end up getting her one. As you can see there, there was also a three bud. Something like that is going to be really good to see because that means that that's where the fruit is going to come out of on these trees. Jumping into the apple trees, really great selection here. We had some Granny Smith. We had some Red Delicious. We're noticing some really good buddings on these as well as some good growth. So overall, the stock was really great on everything that we had looked at within the gardening center thus far. You can see we also were able to have some of the red apples. So we have Red Delicious here. We had some Gala as well as Fuji apples. So you really have a lot of apple varieties that I think everyone has heard of, Lady and Bread. And all of these were growing to be around 15 to 30 feet. So you're gonna get a really good size apple tree. Although we have gotten apple trees from Home Depot before and we have not received any fruit on them yet. They're about three years old and still nothing on it. So keep that in mind when you are purchasing these trees that they might not get fruit the first year. 
That being said, our peach tree from Home Depot that we got last year, we actually did have fruit on both of the peach trees that we got. And when you're selecting your peach tree, you do wanna make sure that you are finding one with a nice center stem and then also some really good even growth on both sides, just like this one here. And it's nice and open in the center as well as having some strong branches. We had a nice peach contender here, and this is gonna grow to around 25 feet. Love that. I love the peaches that we got. This year we did also buy some apricot plants. I love them because again, easy to grow, nice for beginners if you're looking to get something in your backyard here. And they're gonna be a nice growth, around 15 to 20 feet for some of those. So really great quality apricots and peaches that we did actually purchase this year. And in the past, I've had some really, really great success with the peaches. So definitely, if you want to get a peach tree, I've had a lot of great success from Home Depot in the past. Something else that I noticed is we did have some nice nectarines. This is the Fantasia. Really, really great growth and blossoms on them. So something that we definitely want to look for when we're growing out, which which plants we want. Now, none of the flavor palettes of the nectarines actually spoke to us, so we didn't end up purchasing any of the nectarines today, but if you do like some of these nectarine flavors, I definitely suggest going and getting one that you like because there were some really great quality trees at our Home Depot. Jumping into the next area here, these trees are a little bit heftier in price, around 110, and this is because there's gonna be multiple different fruits that are grafted onto them. So you'll see the first three in that row are all a fruit cocktail, meaning that each little tag that's on them, each color tag has its own graft fruit that is on it. And then the label will share exactly what's on it as well. So this is a peach, plum, nectarine, and apricot. So I think if you have a small backyard and you do want to have a fruit tree, but you don't want to have just one fruit, this is a really great way to get a combination of fruits. Although I have heard that by getting a tree like this, sometimes it's not going to grow as great as just a single fruit tree. This is because one of the fruits might take over and kind of overshadow some of the others. So I've not bought in a combo or fruit salad tripe tree before, but really interesting that they have these. And I think for smaller backyards, this could be really great to test out. I did notice with some of the apple varieties here that there was maybe one or two well-known apples, and then there would be some random apples that I had never heard of. So really interesting that they chose to graft those together. I think maybe they just had some extra here. And then finishing out our center, we did have some ornamental weeping willow trees here. These are also at that $110 range and really great if you're looking for a nice ornamental tree. Weeping willows are also really great for if you have a flood zone type area or a lot of water that's in an area. They have nice roots that will help drink that up.